Hi, this is Justin Howard with MSNBC, and we're here with one of my new favorite directors and creators. Diane, thank you. No, yeah, you were born in Taiwan. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, they were actually probably similar in a way because I uh, came out to the U.S. for about nine. So, nine. Yeah, it was a little bit also kind of like, whoa. <laughs> it's a completely different learning style. Yeah. And the schooling is just completely totally different. Totally very different. Yeah. You're like, what? Yeah, yeah. No, I was, I was number one uh, in my math class uh, when, I, when I left Taiwan. And I was number one here. And then after fourth grade, we went back briefly. And I was last, last in class because... <laughs> Math isn't exactly the strongest uh, subject. Yeah, no, it's here, not. It's not emphasized. In yeah. the creative, I'm always so interested in that kind of influences your film. When you've seen the clips we saw today, we very much brought the American kind of very commercial humor, right. but you kind of tone it down for Chinese. Right. I kind of like it how you make it Chinese sensible. Right. <laughs> yeah. No, I think I think any time they're, you know, I mean. The film itself, even though it's mostly in English, it's still, you know, I mean, it's Chinese funded, it's a Chinese film, and, and while, you know, we all have aspirations for it to, to show everywhere, it's still mainly made at the time for the Chinese market, and so I had to be aware of what would work and what wouldn't work, and, um, and I think, you know, growing up in, 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 in these two different cultures has allowed me, I guess in a way, you know, you, you know what's going to be funny and what's not, or whatever, and Look, it's not going to work exactly the same everywhere, but uh, I have to make sure that, you know, for example, like you mentioned, with the dialogue, I couldn't have him use a lot of slang, for right. example, the, 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 the Daniel Wu's character who plays the, 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 the Chinese guy opposite Kevin um, Spacey, and so, uh, you know, he, 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 I mean, he speaks English, but I couldn't have him speak with a lot of slang because uh, even though maybe the Chinese audience wouldn't understand it anyway, it still right. would be very strange because he's supposed to be playing a Chinese guy. Right, right. <laughs> so, so, you know, things like that you have to sort of watch for to make sure it makes sense in, in whether it's showing here in the U.S. or in England. Well, I, I did like it, though, how you said, like, the movie is 60% English. <laughs> right. So you're, are you going to be using Chinese subtitles? Yeah, well, the sub yeah, in China, they'll be... In China, usually most movies have subtitles throughout the whole movie. Right, right. Whether or not it's in Chinese. Because all the dialects. You got all the dialects, right. <laughs> Exactly, and um, so I mean, when it shows in the U.S., it'll have English subtitles for the time, the scenes that are not in English. Yeah, uh, and over there, it's just all the Chinese. How does this making art in China a little bit? It, it's very much different mm -hmm. than here, because here it's this very much the business. And in China, it, you still, it, I always call it the cultural revolution. It's still a very young industry, even though it has thousands of years of tradition. It's, I feel, personally, I feel like it's more open to the artistic and right. Yeah, yeah. What would you add to that? Yeah, no, I think it's interesting because, look, for all the talk of censorship and, and you know, yes, you have rules that you got to work in within, you know, right. and find, but that's no different than studios out here. I mean, it's for a different reason. It's not because the government propaganda arm is not allowed, but you have studios who are, like, that's, that movie's too weird. You can't do it that way. Right. They're going to tell you to change things. So, it, it's different reasons, but the same result in a way. <laughs> you know, you have to work within the confine of what you're trying to do. Um, but I do think, in a way, they are a little bit more open to experimenting with sort of different things. I mean, I think Inseparable wouldn't have gone and financed you know, as easily in the U.S. Um, because it, it does break out of these molds. I mean, it's not. We, we started out making the movie because we wanted to try to be different and, and sort of go all out and then do something um, that, you know, hopefully audiences haven't seen. Right. Um, uh, but, the, you know, the, the Chinese company that did the financing was willing to sort of, was more willing to try that. So I think that's the main, the main difference. So it's still a business because out there, you know, I mean, it's still about. It's still about. And it's getting more and more sort of genrefied, I'm going to say, you know, where, which is why my next movie is high splash action movie because it sometimes it gets too hard trying to like <laughs> pioneer. You're like, what are the, the genre terms? <laughs> right. It just gets, it's just like, you know what? Do something, you know. But I must admit, it was kind of a fun little note to hear that your movie was actually financed by a theme park yeah, company. Yeah. That random. was awesome. Yeah, I was just like, from roller coasters to film. <laughs> right. yeah, I'm yeah. like, it's yeah. awesome. Yeah, yeah. Pretty well, random. Running around. Well, thank you yeah. for this interview. Sure. And we're looking forward to your yeah. next film. Thank you. <laughs>